Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be unboxing my new laptop. I've not done an unboxing video before but we'll see how it goes. So here we go. Just open this up. Okay, so I've unboxed it now, and as you can see, I've placed it on my table. Uh, if we have a look at it, you can see it's the T series, um, and there are a few scratches on it, as well as uh, this weird mark. Um, but I'm sure if I clean this off, uh, it should go. I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's also a bit of uh, wear and tear around the hinges, and also on the corners. Right, so now if we have a look at the ports, I can show you what's on the computer. Whoops, better not drop it. So as you can see, uh, on the right side, there's you, we got the place where you can put the hard drive, you got the CD slot, and you've got one USB 2.0 port. And on the back, uh, you've got you've got the battery and the power and the power supply here, as well as a vent here and a vent here for the air cooling. Now on this side you've got the vent as I said, you've got uh, VGA out, you've got uh, Ethernet and I believe this is a uh, 56k modem. Right so you've got two more USB 2.0 here uh, ports here and I'm not actually sure what this is. There's a weird button where if you do it it, it pops out a bit. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that it pops out a bit. But I'm not really sure what it's about, but I'll have to have a look at it. So if I just pop that back in, on the front, you've got the headphone jack. Whoops. You've got the headphone jack and the speaker. Uh, this is what the back of the computer looks like. And uh, th there's a code here for, I think it's Windows Vista or Windows XP. I can't really see because it's it's kind of faded. But if you want to have, some, uh, have a free Windows, uh, I can't actually focus on this but I'm pretty sure it's already been used right so as you can see the here's the thing for the battery so, so this unlocks the battery so if I unlock this and pull it out sorry it's a bit difficult to do with one hand but as you can see the battery comes out just how like this which I think might be useful right so if I just pop this back in you pop it in and then you do that and then once you do that you have to lock it here it's got these rubber grips which help it to stick to the table, which is really useful. And it's got it on both sides. And it's also got some, I believe these to be vents for the cooling as well. Now if we flip it over to the other side, uh, I might edit this bit out. But as you can see, if we flip it over to the other side, uh, you've got a little latch here, which you can use to open the computer. And the hinge, the hinge which I'm surprised about, the hinge is actually really good. It works really well because I can open it with one hand with no problems. Now, as you can see, this is the famous ThinkPad keyboard. I've never actually used a ThinkPad keyboard. If I just sit down here, then... Oh yeah, that is very good. I'm not sure how to demonstrate this on camera, but as you can see, it's, uh, it's very tactile. And it's actually very soft. I'm not sure how to explain this, but it's soft when you touch it. And as you can see, here's the track point. I've never used a track point before, so that would be exciting. Uh, as you uh, here, you can see if I can focus on it. Yeah, is it's the T61 model. Right. So now I'm going to boot into the menu. So now, I'm, so right now I'm going to boot it up and see what happens. I'll check the specs as well. So if you just press the on button here, as you can see. It's turning on and it's on. So oh, you can see me in here, but oh, I think it's F1 for this, so I'm just going to mash. Yeah, it's F1. Okay, that's great. So as you can see, uh, let's just check. Yeah, you've got the Core 2 Duo, you've got the 4 gig, yeah, you've got 4 gigs of RAM. It's exactly how the seller uh, described it on eBay, so that's good. 
Right, so now if we boot it up normally, and I apologise for my reflection in the camera, but as you can see, you can you can see me. So if we just boot it up normally and don't go into this uh, menu, the booting menu, then we should see that um, it's Debian, and as you can see, it's booting up how ex as expected. Right, so we'll just wait for this to happen, and as you can see, we can uh, the cell has installed Linux. So if we run Linux, it's just inst it's just booting up now. So obviously this isn't the first time I've booted it up, this is the second time because I had to check that it worked first. But as you can see, uh, if I've, I'm not sure why I turned the camera. Um, as you can see, everything's okay and it's just going to go and check everything now. Right, so as you can see, if I just... I, I apologise for the lighting, this is the first proper video that I've actually filmed with my phone and I'm not really sure how to do proper lighting, but if you could give me some feedback in the comments that would be really appreciated. So as you can see, um, I, this is just a generic Debian login screen, so if I just uh, log in now, whoops, it's a bit difficult to type with one hand. And the password was new password. So if I use the track point now, uh, and it's actually quite accurate. I quite like this track point. Um, it might need to take a bit. I might need to get used to it a bit. But so far, I actually quite like this track point. And also, something that I'd like to add is that this, although this is an old computer. It's booted up very quickly. This has actually booted up my, uh, much quicker than my actual computer, um, which is a lot more modern. So, but that computer runs Lin uh, Windows. So, I assume because Linux is well, GNU GNU slash Linux as a whole are much lighter weight of um, operating systems. That I assume that that's the reason why. So, this is the desktop, and it's just a generic desktop. So, if I just have a quick look around. Um, I can boot into the terminal, and and it says Adam, uh, sorry, Adam Debian ThinkPad. So obviously the seller was called Adam. Um, so what my plans are for this is to clean it up um, because it is a bit the th uh, the what do you call it the keyboard. That's it. Uh, the keyboard is a bit greasy. I would well not greasy necessarily, but it doesn't seem very clean so I might, I'll have to wash my hands after this and I should be able to clean up the keyboard quite well uh, and after this I'd really like to install Artix, Linux and help and also Libreroot um, onto this so I'll do that in my update video but for my first impressions uh, it does seem to be working really well anyway that's all for this video um, as you can tell well I'm not sure if you can tell or not but I'm recording this outro like three or four days later because I forgot to record an outro. But anyway, thank you so much for watching to the end if you did do. Um, any feedback you want in the comments and also be excited because this this laptop now has Artix Linux on it. And I'll be showing you my full preview of it in a few days time. Well, I say few days, maybe like a week's time. I'm not sure how lazy I'll be. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Um, yeah, thanks. See you all in the next video. Bye.